Okay, I wanted to make a part. All right, I wanted to make a part three of this of two eleven notes. Uh, I'm gonna draw some vertical lines on a graph. This show that's the same thing, and then diagonal lines on how to approach those two. So, what if we make our line segment bigger than the total of the two ratio numbers? Can we still do it? Yes, we can. So, first off, if the numbers are a little bit bigger, pardon me. Let's do one of those. So that question popped up. So looking at this, point Q lies on the red line AB. AQ to QB is 3 to 1. Where is point Q on the line segment from the left and point A? So the ratio is 3 to 1. So that fraction is 3 fourths times the distance, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so the distance is 12, 3 fourths of 12 is 9, so we count from 9 to the left, from the left, or from the left end point A, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we're going to get this coordinate here, 1, 6. And that's Q. With a location of Q. Now here's one with a vertical line. It's going to be the same procedure. Instead of counting left and right boxes up, we're going to count boxes up and down. So to find this distance between A and B, we're going to count the boxes from up to down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the distance of this line segment A to B is 12. So it's just like what we did with the horizontal line, we're going to do with the vertical line. Now, the ratio of Q, AQ to QB is 1 to 3. So that would be a conversion to 1 fourth, because 1 divided by the sum. So 1 fourth of 12 is equal to 3. So we're going to count from the top end point B, 3, because that's what it's saying in the directions here. So we 1, 2, 3. This needs to be fixed. Because if it's end point B, that has to be QB. To AQ. There we go. Fix that real quick. So QB to AQ is 1 to 3. Much better if we're going from the top end point B. And that answer would be 8 to the right, 3 up. So it would be 8, 3. That would be that special coordinate Q. So it's a vertical line. Once again, we'll do another one. All right, so we got this vertical vertical line here. Point Q lies on the red line AB. If BQ to QA is one to six, where is point Q on the line segment AB from the top end point B? So we're going to count from the top end point B. Our ratio is one to six. One to six changed in as a fraction is one seventh. So we one seventh times the distance. Well, the distance here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 1 7 times 14 equals 2. So we're going from the top end point B, and we're going to go down to 1, 2. That coordinate is the coordinate we're looking for. That's where Q is. Q is 4 to the left, and then 6 up. So the coordinate is... 4 to the left, so negative 4, comma, 6. And that's the location of Q. Alright. Alright, we'll do one last vertical line here. So point Q lies on the red line AB. If PQ to QA is 2 to 5, 
was point Q on the line segment AB from the top end point B. So the ratio of 2 to 5 as a fraction is 2 sevenths times the distance. Well, the distance between A and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 2 sevenths times 14 is 4. So the distance from the top end point B is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's our coordinate 3 to the right, 2 up. So Q is 3 to the right, 2 up. That's the location of Q. All right, we're going to take it a step harder here. So next step. So the next piece that we're going to have to talk about here is that we're going to take two of these line segments and we're going to put it onto one graph. And this is how we conquer diagonal lines. It's going to lead up to so. In this problem here, point Q lies on the green line AC.